Well, five power plays in a, in a game. I think that you know you look at the first period to reestablish your, yourself, you know, in the course of the game, and you know the first period we didn't take a penalty. And I think that's critical in, as you go into the game, and and uh, you know it's it's uh, the penalty shot was huge, um, and, and, and but you know it's not like you, you look at the, the, the power plays and penalties. We're not not retaliating. We're not you know uh, reaching out and, and taking undisciplined. Did, did we? You know, we bury a guy around the front of the net and take a penalty. You sure did, but it might have stopped a goal, um, and you're going to have to kill those off. And, and uh, um, you know, so there, there are certain penalties as a coach that you can be accepting of, and there are certain penalties you can't be accepting of. You're, 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 penalties are part of the game, but the fact that those guys did a good job tonight of, of uh, you know, not reaching out and slashing, not reaching out and hooking, not you know, sticking a leg out and tripping. Those are the ones that just drive you crazy or retaliate, and, and uh, for the most part, I thought the guys did a good job of it. Having your captain score give you one nothing lead a few minutes into the game, how did that set the tone for your offense? Well, I thought again the, the, the power play is, uh, you know, they give it the one nothing one nothing lead, and then um, you know at home getting getting up by a goal is, is always important. And uh, you know, I thought it was uh, it's still an early season game for them and for us. It's our third game of the year and third for them. And, it was rough at different points. It seemed like, I don't think there was a whistle for probably about, it seemed like about eight to nine minutes. They kept looking down on the bench and rolling guys through there for a while. That was good up and down uh, hockey for a long period of time in the first period. So, um, you know, overall it was, is, uh, um, you know, our guys getting up one nothing, and then two nothing, and three nothing, and then did we handle four nothing very well? I, I, I don't think so. Um, I thought we kind of let them back in. We had a mental uh, let down in front of the net for the first goal, and then the the last one's a six on four scramble goal, but uh, um, overall pretty happy. It seemed to, it's something we've talked about some rough spots. I think trying to get the puck up up the ice out of your own zone was a little bit rough at times. It, like. it wasn't too bad. I mean, I think that you look at once you go up three nothing, we talked about this as a team, you know, or, or in, the, in the fall, but when you go up three nothing, everybody says, well, you're not coming out of your zone as clean as you were. Well, because they're, they're going to start pinching their D. And they're going to start taking more chances, and they're going to, you know, um, they're going to do things to try to get themselves back in the game. And you have to be ready to react to it. And sometimes it's not as clean coming out of your own zone because they're they're doing things that they weren't doing, you know, three minutes before when you're up only one nothing or two nothing. So uh, I thought we, you know, we hesitated a couple of times, but you know, some good poise plays led, it, led us to like the fourth goal where, you know, Christian Hilbert came across and sliced through and. Picked it up and, and uh, jabbed it into their feet, in, in the goalie's feet, and then uh, Joel Lowry was able to, to tap it home. But uh, you know, we, it was four nothing. We missed our chances to make it five nothing, six nothing on the power play. I don't know how we missed uh, you know a couple. You know, they had a couple of empty nets, but we, we had a couple of nets. And John McCarron hit the poster in the third. And, um, you know, so it was a as it was a good solid game. Um, but now now we, we, we move on and we look for for put it back tomorrow. Andy with 26 saves tonight, including a stop in the penalty shot. Uh, how was he successful tonight? Well, it, it just, uh, in the scrambles, he's under control. When Andy plays his best hockey, when, when there's pucks out in front of him, he, he trusts his instincts to be, to be patient and be under control. That's when he plays his best hockey. When he gets over aggressive and tries to jump on pucks or uh, play pucks, uh, he doesn't play his best hockey. And tonight I thought, you know, especially in the five on three, the scrambles, you know, there were some shots that looked, you know, like they're gonna have some net, and all of a sudden he's there, and, and that's that's his strength of it as a goaltender, and uh, and it helps. As I said, you look at the amount of blocks that we had tonight. I bet we had close to you know 15 blocks in the game, and uh, you know, that helps uh, that helps your penalty kill a tremendous amount. You said uh, last week earlier this week that he doesn't like to go too much on tendencies with certain guys, but did he have an idea of with Kayla on the penalty shot? I don't think so. I think he. Uh, you know, it's funny because Kaloff tried the exact same move that the kid at uh, Nebraska Omaha, you know, give a fake, you know, and then come back to his forehand and try to go upstairs. And Andy, I thought, did a great job of staying with him and getting his glove up to prevent him from getting up top. As you mentioned, kind of looking ahead toward Quinnipiac tomorrow, what's the, the number one uh, takeaway that you have for today or something you'd like to improve upon for tomorrow? And just reset, you know, reboot the computer, reboot the team, you know, get ready to, to start all over again with our preparation. Uh, in our intensity and, and uh, let this game go, it's gone, uh, it's over, and, and uh, you know they're already warming down, cooling down, get ready for tomorrow's action, and then have that really, really short-term memory as far as the victory is concerned, and get ready to compete again. 
Why didn't Bardra play? Pardon me? Why didn't Bardra play? He got hurt uh, in the last minute and a half uh, out in uh, Nebraska, Omaha. And we'll find out when he's going to be back, but he's going to be out, uh, or I hope not too long, but he's definitely going to be out for a couple weeks, maybe two or three weeks. So it's not has nothing to do with his previous injury. Um, you know, it, totally something, it was, it was just a freak uh, um, injury that occurred when he was at, out in Nebraska. And, and uh, hopefully we get good uh, results on news that he, he he'll hopefully will be back, you know, two or three weeks from now. The same question with Teton and Craig. Uh, they're just healthy scratches. I mean, uh, we got a lot of depth up front and uh, healthy scratches, and uh, you know, we'll be rolling a lot of guys through the lineup, and, and uh, we'll reevaluate how guys play tonight and see if those guys get to start tomorrow night. Uh, it feels good, but uh, it's just a start. I mean, we got Quinnipiac coming in tomorrow. who's ranked seventh, and I think that's a really big game for us to see where we're at, and we really want to get that one. Got off to a pretty good start to the season personally. A three-point game tonight. How did you feel going into tonight, and how you performed tonight? Uh, I was a little nervous. I mean, I haven't played center since I was uh, 13 or 14 years old, so it's a little new to me. But uh, I mean, I think uh, I did an okay job and felt good to, to get a couple points. But it definitely felt a lot better to get the win, and we really needed that one. I think uh, a lot of our young guys played really well yeah, today, and we played uh, really physical. And I think we played a pretty smart game. We didn't we didn't unravel when we had that kind of unfortunate situation with the two five on threes and the penalty shot. But uh, I don't know. It was a big win for, for the guys. At what point there in the first couple of periods did you say, hey, the offense is really in sync today? Um, I, I don't know. Maybe uh, I think we got a couple lucky bounces, to be honest. Uh, a bunch of goals from behind the net. Brian's goal, uh, the fourth one. Um, and I, th I think we just uh, we did a good job of getting pucks deep. And I think our four check was really going tonight. I think they had a hard time breaking the puck out. And they're good in transition. I don't think they got too much off the transition. So I'd say it was more... Uh, just playing solid and smart than being offensive. What did the penalty shot say to do for you guys? Kind of big lift. Yeah, that was huge. I mean, uh, they were still on the power play too, and uh, Kalof's a pretty good player, so you don't want to give him those chances. And uh, for Andy to come up huge with that save, I think that really gave us a lift. And killing off those penalties gave us a lift too, and kind of gave us some momentum. I think the crowd stood up and really got into the game from there on out, and we scored a couple big goals right after that. So I think that was uh, really huge for us.